Hey Fearless Gamers, James from Fearless Games here and welcome to the world of Battletech again. And in this video, I want to go over the miniatures that I feel are most important that you get from the introductory box set. Now I went over as a basic overview of Battletech, just to kind of get people uh, acclimated to the universe a little bit, setting wise. And I did an in a introductory box set unboxing um, video already, showing you what you get in the box set. These mechs are from the box set. I want to go over the, me the mechs themselves now because of one reason. Some of the mechs do look similar, and if you yourself at home and a group of your buddies, or maybe it's just you want to learn the game, you can pick up the introductory box set offline. And, um, or from the web, I guess is a more correct way of saying that. And, um, with that, this may be your first foray into Battletech, and some of these mechs do look similar. Now, you do get data sheets, and you do get a pamphlet on the mechs, and each one has artwork that you kind of match the mech miniatures to. Even still, it could be a little difficult. So, with that being said, I thought I'd show you the four most important mechs for this, because uh, these are the mechs that you're going to be using if you're following the box set protocol if you're doing the quick start rule doing the green training scenario and stuff like that and as well if you're following online protocol in regards to the pdf you can download if you go to callus game Lab's website go to their battletech section you can download some quick start rules pdf that has the green training scenario in there as well as an advanced training scenario which i'll go talk about those mechs as well so First up, let's talk about the two most important. Those are the two I already painted up white right from the get-go when I got this box set. Uh, these are the two mechs you're going to be first kind of introduced to for playing the game. In the quick start rules, you're going to utilize these two. And the reason I want to show you these guys is because you may not be able to pick them out right away on your own. And that's understandable. I even had problems with one of these guys, and I'll talk about that in a moment. And... The other reason is, if you like to paint up your guys like I do, if you like playing with painted models and not just playing with plain uh, plastic or just base coated models, it may, regardless of whether you batch paint or paint singularly, uh, these are the mechs you're going to want to put at the top of your list of paint first out of the 24 you get. So the one on the left here is the Hunchback. Uh, this is the Hunchback. It's got a very distinctive look for a humanoid mech because it's got this big massive honking cannon on its right shoulder so you look for that and you pretty much got your hunchback uh, I like the look it's very kind of like um, nitty gritty street fighter type of look um, the hunchback now the mech next to it is the enforcer and this is the mech I had problems in finding in the bag of mechs they give you because there are a couple that have a very similar look to the Enforcer and um, it was, I just had a hard time matching it to the artwork they give you I actually went online to try and find Enforcer pictures and that's when I that's why I picked this mech because I felt it was the one that represented the Enforcer the best out of the ones they had in the, in the bag so this is your Enforcer and um, this is what he looks like now they're painted up already, so you would get them unpainted. But uh, those are the mechs. The Hunchback and the Enforcer. These are for the quick start green training scenario rules. Uh, your very first game will be with these two mechs. And maybe uh, your first several games, if you're going to replay that scenario over and over to get really acclimated with the feel of the game a bit, will be with these two mechs. Now, the second most important pair of mechs would be these two right here. These are from the online advanced training scenario uh, mission. You get these mechs in the introductory box set and the rules for that they're kind of going over in the advanced rules is really for their weapons they have, which will be gone over in the Battletech introductory rulebook. Um, this is just done in a convenient package in the quick start PDF. <clears throat> So the mech right here is the Hermes 2 that I'm holding. It's got these horn or ear-like design on its head and its chest has a pretty distinctive design as well. 
there are a couple that kind of look similar to the Hermes 2, but this is what you would look for to pick out the Hermes 2, and you should have no problem picking out this mech. Um, the one next to it, a very distinctive looking mech, and you should have no problem finding this guy. This is the Cicada. Yes, Cicada. They named the mech after the insect, the Cicada. <laughs> uh, once you get over that fact, it's got a very distinctive look, and for some reason, I'm partial to the cicada. I don't know why, but I do like it. Um, and this is what it looks like. So a pretty distinctive look. It's not humanoid looking at all, so that should help you pick it out. Because a lot of the mechs are humanoid looking. And that's it, really. These are the four mechs that are pretty important to uh, know what they look like in terms of playing with the correct mechs for the correct uh, mission scenarios as well as painting them up if you do want to paint up your mechs um, to play with. Now you don't have to. I It's just if you're like me, you probably like utilizing fully painted models. It helps immerse you in the game a bit. And uh, whether you bash paint or paint singularly one at a time type of deal, it's good to know kind of the four out of the 24 that are most important, with these two being the most important because of the very first mission you're ever going to play is with those two. And remember, I'm talking about playing just with the introductory box set. If I didn't say this before, I'm saying it now, and if I did, I'm repeating myself. But if you're going to be taking part in a demo from the Catalyst Game Labs demoer in your area for Battletech, or if you're going to have a club or some group of friends teach you the game, uh, then all this goes out the window, because you will learn with whatever. At that point, you're learning with whatever they have on hand. But if you're learning following the rules and following the guidelines of the introductory box set, I should say, over rules, guidelines is a better word, so if you're following the guidelines put forth in the introductory box set, then these are the mechs that you're going to be learning with right away. After these four, after you've gone through and done all those four, then whatever one you're going to do next is up to you. Out of the 20 remaining, whatever one next, all personal preference at that point. But I would say these are the four priorities. Um, in terms of mechs for painting uh, in that box set. And that's pretty much it for this video, Fearless Gamers. I hope you've enjoyed, and there will be more Battletech videos to come. I like Battletech, I think some of you like Battletech. I've been itching to learn this game for a while now, so I plan to do that. I plan to take you guys along for the ride as best um, as best we can here at Fearless Games. So if, if you have any questions or comments on Battletech, or any war game really, um, leave them in the comment section to this or any other videos. You know, if you have a Battletech question, leave them in a Battletech video um, comment section. And if you have more generic, leave them in one of the other ones. And if you don't want to leave it in a video, you can PM us no problem through YouTube. We have no problem with that. And um, so if you like this video, like it. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, show your support. Uh, we would appreciate that immensely. We always appreciate you subscribers. And... Until next time, fearless gamers, take it easy.